So you're gonna have to ask yourself, is this a fight you think you can win? Hey guys, Jacob here. It is currently April 16th, 2024, and today, finally, we have access to the Aaron Keener outfit. Of course, we got the first four at the beginning and now finally at the end of April, which is pretty much almost towards the end of the manhunt that's currently going on at the moment. We finally have access to the outfit. Now, if you guys go to your inventory, go right down in store, you can see it right here in Featured, which is going to be the skin and also the uniform, or go over the top right and look for limited time bundles. It currently ends in one week, six days, 16 hours, 15 minutes, and 39 seconds. First, you have the Liberty Island skin. This is a pretty decent skin. I really dig this one. I'm not a huge skin person, uh, most because I keep all my guns just black or gray. But this one has that rogue theme to it, and I really, really like this one compared to some of the other ones we've gotten from out of the other outfits. Uh, but this one's pretty sweet. I really like it. But it will cost you 650 premium credits, and personally, I'm not going to be paying for it. Um, I'm more interested in the skin, which is pretty much what you guys are all here for. And this is the new Manhunt skin for Aaron Keener. Weirdly enough, this one actually has the hood on it. I don't recall him ever wearing the hood against us in World of New York. I know he wore it through Division 1 and also some of the animated stuff and even some of the trailers. You see him pull it down. Um, but mostly, this gives me Division 1 vibes. I remember him wearing this in Division 1 and a lot of the echoes and stuff like that. But I really dig this outfit. And for some reason, I thought his pants were way darker. Uh, maybe it's just me. I thought they were more of a black color in Warlords of New York. But if you go back and look at some of the pictures, I guess this is pretty much spot on. Uh, maybe I just remember it a little bit differently. Of course, you have black tactical boots, the black tactical pants. You have a drop leg holster, which looks like a Black Hawk. And then you have his gray hoodie, which is pretty much a staple that he's been wearing since Division 1. And it has his cap on it as well. You have a plate carrier on the inside of the jacket a thermal style pretty much scope, combat knife, a few mags, and on the side over here, you have a jury rigged, it looks like Isaac node, uh, which I'm guessing has been modified to do certain things compared to our Isaac node. Maybe that's something we'll actually uh, possibly see in you know, Warlords New York, uh, or my bad, not Warlords, uh, in the new Brooklyn DLC, and maybe this is something we're going to be using to fight the hunters. Uh, because, of course, there is something still locked in the box if you guys haven't played the manhunt that's in there. I'm guessing it's some kind of device like this that Keener has made, so who really knows at this point, we'll just have to wait and see. This is what the hood looks like with the hat. Uh, the ball cap, which I will zoom in, it's a little hard to see. You guys can see it. Unfortunately, this alpha is just one piece, and you can't remove any nice. of the items, uh, which I honestly was looking forward to if it was going to be something we could remove, because I'd totally throw on some black tactical pants, some darker boots, and throw this hoodie on with a mask, but we cannot do that. But that is what the outfit looks like. There's nothing on the back, which is pretty standard for this. Because uh, if you remember, he didn't really have anything except a backpack on him when you fought him. And through most of Warlords and the Division, he hasn't really carried a bunch of gear. In Division 1, he had actually even less than this if you go back and look at some of the Echoes. But this will cost you 1,180 credits, which is going to be premium credits if you do not care about the skin. I know a lot of you guys don't. Um, and pretty much you can just pick this up for yourself and go to the premium credit store and grab it just like that. And personally, I will be grabbing this one because I'm a huge Aaron Keener fan. I just wish we could put the hood down. That's the only thing I wish could be different on this. But other than that, I will be grabbing this for myself. But I appreciate all the support and thank you guys all for watching. And I'll catch you guys in the next one.